Well, here's a video I didn't know I was going to make. So, uh, a bit of backstory on this one. Uh, I follow I Love Kim Possible a lot on Twitter, and she posted yesterday that it was the 20th anniversary of the Prince of Egypt. Was holy crap! Like, wow! This is blowing my mind. Stuff from 98 is 20 years ago now. I just, where is time going? Anyway, she, scratch my nose, uh, she posted that because it's one of her top 10 favorite movies. And I replied that in the 20 years this has been out, I have never actually seen it. I've seen stuff about it. I, when I used to watch Nostalgia Critic, I watched his comparison of that and the Ten Commandments I think he did. And I know he did it for one of his dreamworks you -y thing. But I've never actually seen the movie myself. So, of course, her response was, FIX THAT! And I was like, whoa, okay, I mean, it's on Netflix. Uh, and I made offhand comment that, oh, do you want me to, uh, report back to you when I see it? And she was like, better yet, do a reaction video. So I'm doing a reaction video. I'm not doing the full, you know, there's, there's a thing and I'm, oh, because I don't know how to do that. But, I figured this is a good chance to bring back my rambling series, which I haven't done in a while. So I'm doing that. <laughs> so, KP, this one's for you. Now. All that aside, what did I actually think of the movie? I really liked it, actually. Uh, like I said, I've seen stuff about it, but I've never watched it, and I didn't... Either I didn't know or forgot it was a musical, but it starts off with a song with people... The slaves! Starts off with slaves singing, which I... Isn't that... Isn't that how Les Miserables starts, too? I don't know. But it, they're really good songs, actually. And, uh, it's... Well, the first thing actually starts out with is how this is true to the essence. This is the essence of the true story of Exodus and things. And uh, I, uh, I have some problems with that. I, uh, I, I don't believe some of that stuff actually happened. I, I think they're embellishing some things. But as a story telling, retelling of Exodus, it's, it's really good. And I really like how they had, like, the dynamic of the, the two brothers of Ramses and Moses, because you can tell, like, there are moments when they, they're really heartbroken that this has to be what's happening, that they're, they're colliding like this, and they're at these odds, and there's just the escalation of all the curses. And, I mean, it's sad, but it is hard to side with Ramses, because slaves?! Slavery is bad, but you know Egypt was built on slaves, and it's their kind of whole economy. So I guess from purely a leadership standpoint, I know why he can't do that. He was still a dick, though. He was still a massive dick about it. Like I mean, at a certain point, after all the plagues are coming down, you got some. Maybe I should just let him go. Also, like when Moses comes in. After his, to come in to free the slaves, after he talked to the burning bush and got the power of God, and he, his staff turns into a snake, and like, there's a really like dull surprise reaction to that. Like, you, Ramsey's just kind of, and then goes like, ha, my two free, show this man what real magic is. It's like, you just saw a staff turn into a snake. Be impressed, damn it. Uh, but I jumped way ahead there, didn't I? Uh, these things are never about, like, plot par plot progression. Just, it's just my overall thoughts, so... Uh, but, yeah, I, I really liked it. I did. The animation is gorgeous. Like, this was DreamWorks' first movie, and I kind of wish they'd kept doing more animated stuff before they went to Shrek. Because I think... I may be wrong. Someone correct me. It was this and then Shrek, right? And maybe Chicken Run in between, but they just, like, distributed that. As far as... The movies they made, it's just this, then almost immediately into Shrek, and then they, they that's the DreamWorks styles. They're self-aware, pop culture referencing CGI stuff, and that's okay, but man, this was good, and I, I wish they'd done more of that. How to Train Your Dragon's a good way to do it. That, that's, that's a good series that isn't too, ooh, excuse me, the DreamWorks style. Like, I guess the big problem is this is still following Disney style. Because you could see this as a Disney movie. There are songs in there. It's an adaptation of a uh, popular story. 
celebrity voices now, but that that's I think this is one of the first things that became a thing. But they, they all did well. Like it, it it took me a while to remember some of them. Of you know, I had to look up who they were. I didn't except Val Kilmer. I immediately remember that. And of course, there's the moment when he's Moses is talking to uh, I think it was Ramses. Yeah, he's like, I'm not who you think I am. I want to be. I'm Batman. <laughs> but because you gotta do that for every form of Batman. But uh. No, it was, I, I, one of the things I liked the most was, like, when they had their montage, like, when Moses first found out he was actually a slave, and he only found that out because he was chasing tail. <laughs> kind of amuses me. But, you know, he had the, the song, but he wasn't singing it. It was, like, a narration in his head that happened to be a song, and it was kind of the opposite of a Disney princess. It wasn't his, I want more. It was like, no, this is my life. Here's my stuff. I'm okay with this life. And then the burden hit him. So... Oh, that was kind of... I don't know if that was intentional, but it's a nice little twist on things. And then when it's uh, the montage of the plagues and it's Moses and Ramses kind of doing a duet against each other, it's the same thing where you don't see them singing it. It's more in their heads, but it's it's really well done. And it really does capture, like, the pain they're both feeling about it. And, and like I said, that's what I like the most is, like, it wasn't just, oh, clearly you're evil, clearly you're good. They're, they're, it's like... Moses is fighting for the right thing, Rams is fighting for the wrong thing, but because they grew up, because they know each other, it was not this clear split, they still want to try to reconcile. They still had really good, like, brotherly moments. Like when Moses goes to visit Ramses in the dark before the plague of the firstborn comes about. Like, that's, that's, they shared, like, good memories, and then you, you see it on their faces. Like, it's, the animation's really good, I keep repeating that, but... Even when the the plague gets the Ramsey's son, Moses is there and tries to comfort him, and so it's really heartbreaking just watching the split happen. But you know why it happened. Uh, I had something else. I just lost it. But uh, yeah. So I, I guess this isn't gonna be a super long video, and it's it's really rambly. Hence why I call these things rambles. But no, it's just a really good movie. It's it's. Like, the animation is beautiful. The CGI, it was early CGI, but it mixed in really well. Uh, oh! Now <laughs> I remember, because I, I had sparked thinking of, like, the water. You know, when they part the Red Sea and the water's all CGI. It's, it's really cool seeing, like, the whales and fish and the flashes and the thunder, lightning flashes in the ocean. But, like, the fire tornado that held Ramsey and his army's back stops. Ramsey's immediately goes forward. Not one guy was like... Uh, boss, that's the ocean standing up. I think we should just let him go. Maybe we should let him go. A lot of bad things are happening. Is it really worth it to have slaves? Not one guy did that, huh? Everyone's like, gotta have slaves. Kind of dicks. But, yeah. Like, uh, I, I did love, like, the two priests were, like, just pulling parlor tricks to match the power of God. And Ramses being like, nah. Yeah, see? He, he, he did the same thing. Blood in the water, food died, same thing. Same thing. Ah, screw your God, Moses. Nah. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I got amused out of that. And, oh, get, Jeff Goldblum was in here before he became Jeff Goldblum? I do think we forget that. He is a good actor. But the internet being what it is, they made him, you know, the, the exaggerated uh, um, uh, Jeff Goldblum. And, to his credit, he plays up that very well. But it is nice to see him in a more supporting role and more sedated. Or subdued, I guess is the word. So, yeah, it's almost ten minutes I've rambled on about this thing, so i probably going to wrap it up here. Uh, I, I liked it. Thank you, KP, for recommending it to me. Uh, I kind of wish I'd seen it earlier. I don't know if I'll ever pick it up on DVD. I don't know if it's going to be one of my favorite, top favorite, favorite top ten movies. <sighs> but I, I'm glad I watched it. I, I, I did enjoy it. And like I said, I really wish DreamWorks would have stuck with this animation style for just a little bit longer. Maybe bring it back for something. I, I don't know what. But it, it'd be nice to see it again because it's gorgeous animation. And yeah, I recommend you check it out if you haven't already. If you're not late to the party like I am 20 years on. Or maybe you haven't heard of it before. Give it a watch. And that's all I have to say. See you next time.